Today's video is for my African brothers and sisters. I've been asked this question a whole lot, so I felt to um, make a video and address it so I can put your mind at ease. So for those of you who have been asking if it's only healthcare jobs that the UK recruits Africans for, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Faith Ojane and on this channel I talk about ways you can travel abroad and settle abroad and I also share resources on how you can get started. If this is the kind of content you like, hit the subscribe button to join the family. Without saying so much, let's get straight into the video. So, a lot of you guys assume that it's only healthcare job that um, UK recruits Africans for. Well, I don't blame you because whenever you go on YouTube, most times you see healthcare job with sponsorship in the UK, healthcare job with sponsorship in the UK. So I think I understand why you, you guys had to ask about this. Is it only healthcare jobs that they recruit Africans? Is there any other profession that they recruit Africans? But again, I'm not just going to come and tell you, oh yeah, they recruit other professions. So I'm going to be speaking based on statistics. So I'm not going to focus on other ethnicity. I'm just going to focus on Africans alone. So if you're my African brothers in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin Republic, um, Tanzania, if I don't call your country, please do not be offended. I love you all. But generally, if you're an African, and you desire to come to the uk to work and maybe your profession is not in health sector then do not worry okay i'm going to be sharing with you job sectors that are dominated by blacks and africans here in the uk you just show that okay if you are in africa and you're in this particular industry there's chances of you getting hired in the uk anyway let me share the statistics with you I have the statistic on my phone. By the way, this is from gov.uk and it's 2021 statistics because we can't have 2022 because we're still in 2022. By 2023, that's when the 2022 statistics will come out. So, percentage of workers in each ethnic group employed by different sectors. Number one is agriculture, forestry, and fishing. I'm not going to talk about other national like Asian, Indians, Pakistan. I'm just going to focus on blacks okay so for agriculture forestry and fishing there is 0.1 percent black in this industry the ethnic group with the highest percentage is white irish which is 1.3 percent they are the highest in agriculture forestry and fishing there are not a lot of blacks in this um, industry i hope this statistic sort of help you to okay since it's not there are not a lot of black i think i have opportunity to go into this industry second one is energy and water so for blacks there is 1.5 percent that's in this sector ethnic group that has the highest is white irish which is 2.2 percent for manufacturing industry we have 4.9 percent of blacks in this industry the highest percentage is white. I mean white. They have over 10.2%. For construction, blacks is 3.5%. The highest percentage is white British. So the construction industry is dominated by white British with over 7%. For distribution, hotels and restaurants, blacks is 12.3 percent the ethnic group with the highest percentage is pakistan and bangladesh with over 25.9 percent so that's to say that distribution hotel and restaurant is dominated by people from pakistan um india that's bangladesh i mean this one is so true because trust me any hotel restaurant you go to you will see these people so black just have 12.3 percent so if you're an african or you're black watching this video i mean you can go into restaurant that, this is to show you that there are not a lot of african foods 
I mean African restaurants in the UK and it's true because when you go out you see a lot of Chinese Indian food but you hardly see Nigerian food or Ghanaian restaurants or so if you are really interested to work in hotel or to work to own a restaurant you can apply for a startup visa tell them you've noticed that they're short of african restaurants in the uk and you know it's going to flourish that's why you're coming to start a business and um, i mean a restaurant business and trust me with this statistic they will grant you the visa well i don't know that i don't work in <laughs> immigration but i'm just saying with this statistic you already have a business idea the next one is transportation and communication blacks 10.3 percent indian has the highest percentage with over 18.9 this is also true that's when you go to customer service a lot of indians are there you see uber drivers cab drivers most of them are indians these people know how to hustle so for banking and finance the highest percentage is 23.4 percent which is asians blacks is 16.2 percent for public administration education and health guess who is ruling this sector give it up for my black community <laughs> yes blacks are leading this sector with over 47.2 percent so this is to say that blacks are dominating the public administration sector the education sector and the health sector a lot of nurses carers a lot of lecturers a lot of admin public admins they are in these sectors so this is tell you that if your current occupation or current profession is public admin education and health then i mean you are dominating this sector like the gap is so so wide so yeah you can use this to your own advantage which is especially for restaurants and hotel there is not a lot of black or africans doing this so you can actually migrate to the uk and be like i want to start my own restaurant business then apply for the startup visa we all know startup visa is like a, if you want to come to the uk to start a business you need to write a proposal telling the home office Okay, this is my business idea and I, I, it's scalable, it's viable, it's gonna, which is a good business because it's food business. And since they are not based on the statistics, you can even use it in, um, in your application. Based on the statistics, there are not a lot of African food. When you go out on the road, when you move anywhere in London, you see a lot of Chinese rice, Indian restaurant, Chinese restaurant, Asian but you hardly find Nigerian restaurant, Ghanaian restaurant, South African restaurant, like, I mean, African food. There are a lot of Africans in the UK. So we need good food. We need African food. I'm going to leave the link to this statistic in the description box below. So whichever way you want to digest this information, the choice is yours. All I'm going to say is that knowing these statistics, you can use it to your own advantage. I hope with this little information, this will help you to decide, okay, do I want to come to the UK based on the sector that is dominated by Africans or do I want to try other sectors that a lot of Africans are not in? For agriculture, forestry, I mean, a lot of Africans are good with agriculture. Why not try that sector? Anyway, let me know. I'm not here to give you pep talk, but I'm just guessing whichever way you want to use this information i mean make use of it wisely so guys we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye